Welcome to Hashtag Tokyo, the show that offers you Tokyo sightseeing information hot off the press and ready to use. We source our stories by hashtags from pictures and comments in overseas travelers' social media posts. Join us for a virtual tour of Tokyo based on the experiences of real tourists. Today's keyword is hashtag Kichijoji. This time we're taking you on a tour of a town called Kichijoji in Musashino City, Western Tokyo. TripAdvisor has given it a certificate of excellence for its consistently high ratings from travelers. And it's seeing more and more overseas visitors too. One reason for its popularity is how convenient it is to access from central Tokyo. You can take the Chuo line from Shinjuku or the Keio Inokashira line from Shibuya. Both take around 15 minutes. Kichijoji offers a lot packed into a relatively small area. To the north of the station is a shopping precinct with a range of stores buzzing with locals and several large retail developments. And then on the south side lies an oasis of green, Inokashira Park. The town combines urban convenience and natural beauty in one small area. Let's see what's so special about Kichijoji. First, let's head south of the station to Inokashira Park. Our virtual tour begins here at the park exit of Kichijoji Station. We head out straight along this narrow street. At the end of the street, a shopping complex comes into view. We turn onto the street to the right of the shopping mall. The 200 meter stretch down to the park is lined with a diverse mix of shops, selling ethnic wares from places like India and Nepal to German style sausages. This short strip showcases flavors and products from around the world. This store seems to have quite a line outside. It's been going since 1960, selling grilled skewers called kushiyaki. Chicken and pork skewers are 90 yen apiece. You can buy them to take out and eat them in the park. Heading down the stairs, we arrive at our destination and the spot with more Instagram hashtags than any other in Kichijoji. It's famous for its cherry blossom trees. Now is peak cherry blossom season and the park is buzzing. Families and friends meet and have picnics under the trees in full bloom. There's nothing like relaxing in the park and enjoying the local takeout. Most parks in Japan also allow people to drink alcohol on the grounds. Cheers! But please go easy and mind your manners if you do. Cherry blossoms are best viewed from below. Here visitors are surrounded by a marvelous pale pink canopy. With our hunger and thirst satisfied, now let's take a stroll. Inokashira Park was opened in 1917 as Japan's first suburban public park. It has just celebrated its 100th anniversary. A key landmark is Inokashira Lake, which lies at the park's center. Some 250 cherry trees lining its banks create a magnificent spectacle when they bloom in unison in late March to early April. And then there are the lake's distinctive swan-shaped paddle boats. Viewing the blossoms from the seat of one of the lake's icons is a park highlight.
So let's get in and try one. It costs 700 yen or about 650 US for 30 minutes. blossoms bloom and then fall all at once. The fallen petals on the water create a magical landscape. Just as much for their beauty, many Japanese people are attracted by the ephemeral nature of these short-lived flowers. It's really cool because it, when, when the blossoms start raining down, it's really pretty. It's almost like it's snowing. Well, it was actually pretty interesting. So we were coming in on the train and it's just like, it's very dense. So compared, especially compared to Canada, very dense. There's like houses everywhere, lots of power lines. And then we pulled up into this station and the first thing you see is a park. This park has been a popular place to visit for centuries. Here's a spot where you can sense its history. Inokashira Benzaiten is a temple dedicated to the goddess of water. There's an interesting place behind its main hall. It's said that if you wash your money in this water, it will bring you luck with your finances. The temple has a long history, dating back 1,000 years. This is a woodblock print of the area from the Edo period, around the mid-19th century. Many people would come to pay their respects then, too. This spring has been here since ancient times. In the 16th century, its waters were first supplied to the city of Edo, now Tokyo, via a 63-kilometer canal. As a place that people relied upon to support their lives, the lake itself was an object of reverence. We are from Nepal, hashtag Tokyo. On the north side of the station, a crowded district of low, tin-roofed buildings rubs shoulders with its more modern neighbors. Despite its prime location, it's a largely untouched relic from the past. Called Harmonica Yokocho, it's home to around 100 stores crammed along six narrow alleyways. The quaint name comes from the tiny storefronts, which look to some like the holes in a harmonica. The district evolved from black markets in post-war Tokyo 1945, when the city was still laid waste. Now, 70 years later, it still retains traces of those days. During the day, clothing, food, and flower stores bustle. While at night, the bar scene comes to life. An evening spent here will offer you a window into the habits of local Kichijojiites. This bar stands out for its contemporary interior. It was designed by the architect of the main stadium for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The bar counter and chairs are made from melted acrylic scrap material. You are welcome to our shop. In Japanese, it's called nikomi. It's a mix of pork and beef items. 
This is the store's stewed dish, a Japanese bar staple. Theirs is a slow-cooked mix of beef and pork. In contrast to its edgy decor, you can enjoy old-time dishes in keeping with its heritage location. To make the most of the Yokocho experience, explore the alleyways and try a few different places. This business opened in 1951 and is the oldest ramen shop in the complex. Their soup is made with slow-cooked pork bones and dried sardines, a recipe they have used for 67 years. Harmonica Yokocho continues the tradition of serving tastes that suit everyday people. Hi, we come from France, hashtag Tokyo. For those in the know, Kichijoji is quite a hub for music. Search for live venues and jazz cafes near the station and you'll find over 20 of them. As we enter a lane, this classy looking venue catches our eye. It's Kichijoji's oldest jazz cafe, which opened in 1960. You can sit and enjoy a coffee while listening to its precious collection of over 5,000 jazz records. North of the station is a place that explains how Kichijoji became such a music hotspot. Sometime lies in a side street off the Sun Road shopping strip. It was the first live jazz venue to open here in 1975. Descending the stairs, you enter a downtown New York-inspired interior. Professional musicians play live every night, surrounded by their audience. Prices for the show start at 1,800 yen. And now, let's enjoy a bit of the night's performance. Take a listen. Why not try visiting the unique Tokyo town of Kichijoji and explore its great combination of culture and nature? Check out the show's Facebook page for more details. See you next time!